Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, December 8th through the 14th, 2020. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Help me out and uh, shows me that you enjoy getting these weekly readings in your feed. Now then, watch this reading if you are a Pisces sun, moon, rising, Pisces on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the 12th house or Venus in Pisces, you can watch this reading. For your forecast today, we are using the uh, Spirit Animal Oracle, sorry, that's this one, and the Lightseer's Tarot Deck by Chris Ann. Um, <clears throat> we're looking at six cards for your week ahead, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get into it. Pisces week ahead, December 8th through the 14th, 2020. All Pisces, <clears throat> all Pisces, suns, moons, rising, Pisces on the house cusp, those with their sun, the 12 clouds, and Venus and Pisces. Show me, how does Pisces see themselves today? What is the theme for them over the next week? What is the theme for them over the next week? What is something Pisces has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing? A lesson they're learning now. <clears throat> a lesson they're learning now and a gift they will receive. All oh, Pisces. December 8th through the 14th. Show me the six cards for Pisces. Read the head, please. In three, two, one. All right, Pisces, I'm having throat chakra issues right now, or my throat chakra is irritated, so I feel like you need to speak up about something, okay? All right, just say it, get it out, talk to a friend, talk to a therapist, talk to a trusted ally, whatever you need to do, I, I think you need to speak up about something, okay? All right, at the bottom of the deck, wow, hold on. Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, a Scorpio, or a Sagittarius. I am seeing manifestation energy here. So as the underlying theme or challenge of your week ahead here, I do see that you could manifest something very well, very much uh, into your current circumstances, or someone is doing this with you. Now, you have to be careful because a Magician can represent a trickster, a seducer, but um, let's see. Pisces, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, I feel like they do have good intentions. They do want to be good to you um, because the magician here says that uh, that uh, you're, the person that you're in love with, the person that you're committing to, if you're committed to someone or the, if you're in a relationship with someone, they do have good intentions for you and they do want to treat you. They do want to be good to you. So I like seeing that there. Pisces, how you see yourself today? We have the death card, death rebirth, card 13, major arcana. So you are completely transforming something about yourself today. It could be, usually this is a process that can take six months or more, but um, we also have Scorpio here. So maybe you are Pisces in the 12th house or you are Scorpio uh, in the 12th house. So yeah, it's a process of death and rebirth. So here we're um, some aspect of our life is coming to an end. Okay. And that will, we're reinventing, you're reinventing yourself in some way. I'm getting, uh, you're the Carl Lagerfeld of your time. You're the, you know, you're the, 
if you're a designer, if you're a, if you, if you work with your hands, if you're an artist, if you're whatever it is that you do or whatever, whoever that you think you are, uh, I feel like you're completely going to be wiping this slate clean and transforming. So you could be changing your hair color, your career, your, the way that you do something that's going to just shift everything. So you're shifting your reality here with the death and rebirth card in the magician. The theme for you over the next week is the Eight of Swords. All right, so someone feels trapped here. Someone feels like a victim. Someone feels like there's nothing they can do. It's a, it's a helpless situation. Um, now, either you are looking at yourself in this manner or someone is looking at you in this manner. Um, Uh, there's something here that uh, I'm getting a distorted, you're looking at something from a distorted point of view or someone is looking at you this way. This could also be you um, in a situation where someone um, really does need help, okay? Um, with the Eight of Swords as the theme for your uh, for your week. This looks like a trap of some kind, a mind trap. Here we have self-limiting beliefs, all right? We need to see a problem for what it is and work practically through solving that problem. So either you can't see a problem for what it is or someone else can't, and you're in a position to help. Uh, as you transform your life, you may also be uh, helping to transform theirs So or yours. So the lesson that you've learned in the past that will be useful for you to remember this week, we have the Ace of Wands. So this is a spark of inspiration. It is the uh, divine gift here. Uh, all the Aces are also portals to the Major Arcana. So here this portal talks about uh, beginning something new a new creative vision for yourself, a new idea. This was something you learned in your past. It was like how to become divinely inspired. Well, you don't create the inspiration. It's given to you, right? Um, a lot of most most uh, musicians, artists that are in the top of their field, um, you know, they attribute their success and their inspiration to the divine, to God. You know, they give their blessings. They, they give their blessings to the divine for their inspiration. Um, so, you know, obviously reading a book and, and, and talking to people and all that can be very inspiring. But at the end of the day, this is a divine gift here. So, um, I feel like you're inspired to take action, inspired to do something, inspired to change some aspect of your life. All right. Um, but, but, but once you have this inspiration, it's, it's also like carpe diem, what you have to seize the day, you have to seize the moment. So I, I feel like you learned something about this type of energy in your past. We have Aries here. Well, it could be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sage. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Your challenge this week is temperance. So you need to integrate something that you've learned here. This is about um, also, this could be combining your masculine and feminine energies together. Um healing a situation. There, there, this could be a situation that it does involve healing on a very deep level, on a very spiritual level. Um, or you're just dealing with a Sagittarius. Now, I feel like there's an important uh, reminder here that you need to stay patient through this process. Yes, patient, patience is a virtue. Um, there may be a tendency for you to get a little bit flighty, to get a little bit temperamental. Um, some of you do have issues with control and patience and you need to work on that this week or you're going to be given an opportunity to work on that uh, also tempering yourself so the lesson you're learning now is the nine of cups okay doing what truly makes you happy um, this is also very satisfying energy all right this is also the wish card so learning how to make your wishes come true all right and how to manifest a dream, how to manifest a, a blessing into reality. That's really what I'm getting from this is through patience. It's also through, um, you know, taking the middle way, taking the middle path here, which if you study Buddhist uh, Buddhism, uh, the middle way is about moderation. Okay, everything, all things in moderation. Um, and also I see a lesson here about 
not getting stuck in the details or not getting in, in our uh, analysis paralysis frame of mind here, getting out of your own head, needing to get out of your own head, um, you know, stop playing the victim, stop playing the martyr, stop seeing yourself as like not, you know, you can't do anything about the situation. And eh, we don't want to see that. We, we want to see you fully be able to manifest your heart's desires here and to step into something much more fulfilling emotionally. The gift you will receive is strength. So Leo, and here we have a gift of um, being able to tame our impulses, control our desires, uh, bring our ego under control, stay in integrity here. Be the lion and the lamb. So what does that mean? It's a gentle touch. It's not being too domineering. It's not being too controlling. Um, there is there is some aspect of a control here, but it has to do with controlling of this of and mastery of the self. Um, we're not giving into compulsivity here. We're staying strong. We're staying true. Um, we're being true and authentic to ourselves. That is a strength. Uh, that is the uh, stepping into your strength here. I like that for you, Pisces. I like that. So let's go ahead and pull an oracle message for you from the Spirit Animal Oracle. So you, you have porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. All right. So what I'm getting with this here is Pisces, you don't know everything. You don't have all the answers. Um, maybe you put yourself in a position in the past where you, or you were the go-to person, or you've always been like the person with all the answers, or you've, you know, I'm, I'm really seeing a Pisces here that's being put in an unfamiliar situation, unfamiliar territory. And so you should be asking more questions at this point than maybe providing answers. And I feel like that this could be a humbling experience for some, all right? Especially since you are the guru, you are the master, you've supposedly mastered everything, but that's not why we're here. That's not why we're here on this planet, okay? So time for beginner's mind. What does that mean to you? Take it as take it with a grain of salt, obviously, and put it in perspective of what you're going through. I'm going to go ahead and read that message to you now. Time for beginner mind, porcupine spirit, oracle message. When Porcupine Spirit calls your name, you are being asked to adopt a beginner's mind and to approach situations with innocence and curiosity. The old, confining stories no longer have a hold on you. Life is full of surprises hiding in plain sight. Looking at the world afresh with new eyes can help you find what you've been seeking, whether it is a relationship, an opportunity, or evidence. Evidence that you have all you need right now to co-create what you desire. Who knew? Porcupine asks you to be playful and have a childlike curiosity. There is so much waiting for you that you have yet to discover. Protection message. Are you feeling prickly and defensive lately and assuming you will be hurt before you have, been, you have seen any sign that such a reaction is called for? Perhaps an old sense of guilt and shame is causing you to be cynical and wary when you are meant to be open and curious. Self-protection is a good thing, but you may be protecting yourself from something that will not actually harm you, but instead will bring you abundance, happiness, and love. Remember your innocence, and you will see what, what you have been overlooking. Porcupine quills are filled with air, allowing a porcupine to float in water. Hmm, who knew? Now is the time to let your innocent nature keep you buoyant. I think I'm going to title this reading, Who Knew? So, uh, Pisces, this is your lovely reading for the week ahead. I really do love this message for you, and um, I think it uh, speaks to your spirit. You know, your 
you're such an innocent, playful, loving person, and you have so many great ideas. And um, uh, I kind of like, I see you wanting to go back to the beginning anyway. I think that's truly what you want is to be, uh, there's a little bit of that inner child too that we want you to bring out at this time. So don't be afraid to let your light shine. Guys, thanks so much for joining me for these weekly readings. And um, as a reminder, I do offer personal private tarot readings. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, my information is below in the description. You can book through my website or scheduling page. I still have 30% off on my Groupon for any 30-minute live reading, and I'm also currently offering a 2021 New Year forecast. This is a reflection of the year reading, which you can purchase on my website. It is 50 minutes for $50. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a wonderful week. I send you blessings, love, and light. Take care.